Hey, welcome back to Adventures in Beauty. Today I'm going to be doing a review and kind of like a first impressions slash review on the new It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Um, this is the mascara um, and it promises everything every other mascara promises like longer, fuller, thicker lashes, but hopefully it'll live up to its name and stand out above the rest. Um, so let me get trying it on. Okay, so here is the wand, and I always start by coating the tips. Ooh, it's kind of clumpy already. Coating the tips of my lashes first and letting them dry for just a second. Okay, so starting at the base of the lashes, I'm just wiggling upwards. Oh, huge clump on my eyelid. That was my fault, I'm sure, though. Okay, other eye. Just, as Lisa Eldridge says, really massage the roots. So here is the mascara applied. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan already. I feel like it clumped up on... Um, it, well, basically everywhere I put like more than one brush stroke. I, I don't know. I'm not a fan already. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on and see how it wears throughout the day so I can kind of give you like if you like you know this kind of look like how well it wears um, or it doesn't. Uh, I feel like it's very similar actually to the L'Oreal Miss Manga uh, mascara. I personally didn't like that but I know a lot of people do. Um, the formula feels the same to me. The brush is slightly different, but the the um, the way the bristles seem to be cut um, are very similar to that, except this is like twice the price. So um, anyway, I'll check back in later and let you know how it goes. Okay, so it's been a good nine hours since I applied the mascara, and I'm really torn about it. Um, what I love about it is that it has stayed put so well all day. Um, it's been a good nine hours. Uh, I played outside with my kids. Um, it did not transfer to the uh, hood of my eye, which happens a lot. Um, and my lashes have stayed curled all day long. They have not budged. The only thing I can fault it with is that I did get some transfer underneath my eye. My eyelashes underneath are fairly long for some reason. And uh, I do tend to get um, smudging underneath my eye really with a lot of mascaras like even some waterproof ones um so that's the only thing i can fault it for because it stayed budge proof for so long and held curl so well didn't flake or anything what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to try applying it differently tomorrow um and use a lighter hand and see if it doesn't go on more smoothly and not with so many clumps did i say that right without so many clumps um, and just see how well it applies using a different method. So jury's still out and I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Good night. So it's a new day, new method of application and same old clumpy mascara. So today when I apply the mascara, I wiped all the excess off of the brush back into the container. Um, I went in with a really light hand, started at the bottom, the base of my lashes, I mean, and just worked my way up. And still I got clumps on the tips of my lashes. Mostly it's like little chunks. Um, so I got clumps on the tips of my lashes still. I had to go through with an eyelash comb and comb it out. But then when I did that, I lost some of the curl, which kind of defeats the purpose. So there are some things I really love about this mascara. And then there's just, it's just a deal breaker for me um, when it comes to how clumpy it is. I love how black it is. I, like, I feel like my eyes look tight lined today and I didn't do that. Um, it's super black and you can get right up to your lash line with the wand. Um, but it's just the style. I just don't care for it at all. So this mascara is a no-go for me. And I guess it's back to my benefits roller lash. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.